The reason for the travel is to explore the planet, uncover diverse cultures of other people, but most important, discover ourselves. This is Around the Globe. It's two o'clock in the middle of the night. We are waiting on the airport for our flight to take off to Brazil. It has been extremely, extremely long day. We started this journey this morning. We took a train from south of Portugal to Lisbon. Now we have to wait 10 hours for our flight. And then we have a 10 hour flight. Then we have a three hour delay. And then we have another two hour flight. So <laughs> this is more than 36 hours for the traveling with no sleep. As I said, I'm pretty tired. And I'm spending this extra time just by working, making most of it. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Around the Globe episodes. After more than 36 hours of traveling, we have finally made it to Brazil. And right now we are experiencing amazing hike with our guide, Rafa. Hi. He's a Brazilian local here in Rio. So if you guys want to have amazing experiences, amazing hikes, if you want to have more knowledge about Rio, please check this guy out. And right now, we're gonna go for our first hike. He's gonna show us places all around Rio de Janeiro. So let's see what happens. And it's a GoPro. There are water with sugar. One drip. Oh yeah. One drip. One drip. <laughs> How high are we? Well, 900 meters. Okay. More or less. So our guide, Rafa, he's, he <laughs> lived basically in the woods since he was a kid. So he knows all the, all the roads, all the animals as well. So he's very familiar with all the snake, monkeys and different species that we have here. So we feel safe, even going very deep in the forest or in the jungle. Today is our first hike and this is a little easier one because me and Melissa, we're out of shape and I'm kind of heavy. So I'm breathing heavy. We're not that high, one, maybe one kilometer above the sea level right now, but the weather, it's like plus 30 Celsius. It's pretty humid as well. 
So, this is not only beautiful sightseeing, it's also good exercise for us. Next week, we're going to a little heavier and even more beautiful hike. So, this is a good beginning, good start for us. Very soft. So these soft trees are used by martial artists to um, as a punching bag. So it doesn't really hurt your wrists, even though you punch really hard because it's soft. And once you see the tree coming off a little bit, it gives you like a good vibe because you get the like points from it. it looks cool. Worm. <laughs> yeah, but that's from pretty... from. This is uh, seda, like a, I don't know how I say in English. It's, it's the same. It's the yeah. The the clothing. Yeah. It's yeah. Silk. Yeah. 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 So, silk. Yeah, silk. So these big fruits are actually like a plague here. They are originally from Asia and they've been many 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 years ago they were brought here because they were so delicious. But the problem is that the tree actually kills all the forest around it and fr and from one fruit grows more than 40 trees. And one tree can grow from 100 to 150 fruits a month. So it's a really bad plague here, which is actually killing the forest. So these trees are being cut down in order to keep the forest alive, because at one point um, the forest almost died completely. Alrighty. Mä voin ottaa Careful your head, your head. päätä. Mä otan persestä kiinni, jos sä tuut. Missä on pää? Where is my head? <laughs> I said, careful with your head. Where's my head? <laughs> okay. Sit tänne vaan. Yes. Yes. Missed my man. There. Okay. Watch for the snakes, spiders, and all other things that wants to kill you. Okay. 
I'm really exhausted. Fuck. Oh. Hopefully you don't get overheated. Again. Yeah. My my t-shirt is like completely wet. My legs are actually shaking because I'm so dehydrated right now. Oh. Then you're scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the adrenaline keeps me going don't, right now. Don't play the uh, water. Apple. Whoa. I'm okay. Oh. Huh. Yep. One. Two touch. Oh yeah, there's the button. Okay. Oh, that's in the summer. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Hold on, I need to put my feet somewhere. Maybe I use it. Okay, I use my hands. Yeah, like this. Okay. I'm not seeing the car as it came up there. I'm not seeing the car as it came up there. Yeah. Yeah, but then I should come out. Oh, 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 yeah. Somebody needs to take my backpack. I'm too big. You're too big. Yeah. I have to go sideways. Yeah. Careful. Yep. <laughs> We made it to the waterfall, the last stop at this hike. Now it's time to go to swim. So this was the last stop at our hike and I have to say this is extremely amazing experience. Um, I feel extremely tired. This is a lot heavier than what I was expecting. But it was definitely, definitely worth it. Um, we saw a lot of amazing lizards, animals, apes. Uh, unfortunately we were not able to capture all of them. Um, this waterfall experience at the end was extremely refreshing because I was like overheating. I'm really dehydrated right now, but this waterfall it just like made me recover, reju rejuvenate from all this. So this was an amazing experience. Uh, we are in the middle of jungle, and I mean, all I can say is, people, go hiking. Go in the jungles, go in the woods uh, with some guidance obviously. Don't go there by yourself because it might be a little dangerous with all the reptiles and animals and spiders and snakes and so on. But overall, um, I think this is living life on full potential.
So can you explain one more time? So this is traditional carioca food. Yeah. It's um, chicken with spices and this over delicious. It's extremely good, but it's even better after extremely long hiking. Um, I don't know how many kilometers we walked, how many steps, but in these weather conditions it was pretty heavy and my legs are spaghetti right now, so I'm really enjoying this food right now. <laughs> This is a um, banana and sugar, Brazilian sweet, a good dessert after some fast food after a long hike, so recovery. It's delicious. The color is because the, the banana is cooked for eight, nine hours. Oh! Yeah. They are a long, long time to do this, this dessert. <laughs> Okay. And yeah, yeah. shot with I think it's a thing. Oh yeah, that one part. Obviously. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. After the hike, Rafa took us to Favela place to have some burgers. So this is close to his home. And this is the opposite of the peaceful jungle where we just were. Look at this. There's the burger. number two uh, today is a little heavier hike and we got we got some reinforcements um I'm sorry I didn't catch your name what was your name my name is Brazil Jaumir Brazil yeah whatever he said <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll just call you Jack okay, okay <laughs> your, no your name is Jack no today no problem. and you are <laughs> Moses Moses okay that's the easy one okay so we got a bigger group today and uh, yeah, the weather is kicking our asses definitely. Uh, two Finnish penguins up in here in Heath. <laughs> We're really exhausted. The locals don't seem to be bothered that much from the hike so far, but uh, me and Melissa, we're extremely tired, so we keep taking small breaks in uh, pretty amazing views, actually. Yeah. So, uh, hike is, hike just, the hike has just begun and we're already so exhausted. It's gonna be a heavy day and we're gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> okay, we are starting to be we are very high right now on a mountain. Not on weed. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. 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 <laughs> you should make sure please. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you look like I'm gonna kill this man. É porque ela já segura o vento, o vento bate. Tá na caminhada tu esquenta o corpo. Aí tu vai esquentando isso aqui já segura o frio. Ajuda, ajuda bastante. Quando eu paro, eu boto um negocinho leve por cima e já, já segura a onda. Pô, isso aqui é mal, né? Na roda. Eu tô querendo inventar isso aqui, tinha que. 
I'm acting like I totally get what you're speaking of. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Here is not the spot. The spot is there. Oh yeah, downhill finally. <laughs> The best Finland yeah. guide in Rio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only guide. Yeah. The only Finnish guide. Rapido. <sighs> She's not that rapid though. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. I am. Whoa. Okay. Hup. Hup. Alrighty. Good job. For the top. On the top, only sun. Yeah. Sit a little, drink the water. It's still going like up. But now we are close. Very close. There's nothing like we already had before. Just like 10 or 15 minutes, we are on the top. Oh. Ah. 10 or 15. Ah. Very, very easy. Like a walk on the beach. How did the, the groups come to here for another way, more easy? Oh. Yeah, I was wondering how much, how there are so many people, because yeah. this was pretty heavy. The other, the other way is more easy, oh. much more easy. So you took us the hard way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Now, welcome to the top. Nice. Obrigado. <laughs> Scary as shit. Your right foot? It's easy, easy, no, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Left foot here. 
Yeah, good. perfect. Ah. Very good. This is a pretty amazing view. Look at this. There you can see the longest beach in Rio, which is 13 kilometers long. Over there is the favela I went into, the largest favela in Rio. There's the Christ statue. But it's too far. I don't, I don't think the camera is going to cast it. Right over there. And it's pretty cool to see that there's actually eagles flying at the same level as we are. So, this is an amazing view. And the no strong wind is also pretty cool. Because, to be honest, I'm, I'm burning right now. It's extremely hot here. I enjoy this place a lot. It's even harder now than since the hand is fucked. I can go on the right, right? <laughs> Did he catch the smile, yeah? Fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! I don't like this part. I hate this part. Ah. Fuck this! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so tired. Fucked. I fell down. Had a small accident. Fell down. Meter, meter and a half. I only got small injuries. That's all right. But uh, it's kind of hard to grab the rope right now because the, my hands got fucked from the fall. <sighs> but uh, the hard part is done. We got to see the amazing view, as you can see on the background. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, now we're on our way down. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. That's a hala, sit a kalliova. Oh, 
Pidä molemmin käsit sit vasemmalt kiinni. Tähän olemas vielä siihen. Perfect. No, you're good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This concludes our two episodes, our two hiking tours that we did with Rafa. Uh, the whole experience was amazing. Again, if you want to come to Rio and you want the best guide here, check this guy out. He is the best guy here to give you advice, whatever you want to do. If you want to go hiking, if you want to know to people, whatever you need, this is the guy who can help you out. So please check him out. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.